going everyone? I'm Steven and today we are looking at the halftime shows from the 2021 Florida Classic. The Pride of Bethune Cookman University and the Martian 100 from Florida a Which halftime show had the higher score? Let's find out. The footage you're going to see in here is courtesy of Showtime Web. There will be a link down in the description below to both halftime shows. In the event you hear this music, that means one of the songs or a melody in the song was copyright claimed and we are just dubbing over that. We are using Showtime Web's footage for one reason. It is consistent, meaning that this is the same sounding footage for both bands. So it won't be like, let's use this school's media team and they sound better than that. Let's use this school's media team and they sound worse. This right here is an equal comparison of both bands from one angle and we can see both bands from the front. So there we go. First up, Bethune Cookman University. Let's go. All right, here we go. First off, right off the bat, I'm not a fan of people marking off the spots on the field. I feel that's kind of elementary, but that's just me. But they are starting right on the middle of the field. There goes the entrance. All right, let's go. Cookman. All right. It didn't even move this time, it just stayed there, all right. No. They're not going to a block. That, that can't be the drill. It's the Florida Classic, where's the drill? Oh man. There has to be something else. That cannot be the whole drill. This is Cookman, this is the Florida Classic. I, this... Okay ladies, let's go. Is this Cookman? Why is everything so simple? Everything so simple. I felt like the National Battle Band show is more entertaining than this. All right, flags.
something exciting, anything. Did the crowd cheer at all? This show has got to do something. No hands. Very nice block, Cookman. I love this block. Y'all nailed that block. We like we like we never, Y'all also do safeness. It's so safe. Okay. What? My crew over there telling me that there was some type of presentation they were doing, but this 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 is the Florida classic. And to be honest, this was this is supposed to be the most exciting show from Cookman of the Year. Oh that's nice. That's a, is that a, that's a person, right? So the drill and everything was cut short because of the presentation, I'm assuming. Is this the whole show? Oh, that's nice.
No. Okay, so there was Bethune Cookman's halftime show for the Florida Classic. Very disappointed. Uh, it's a decent show. Everything looked and sound good, but um, I was expecting so much more. <laughs> so much more. And I, I do understand uh, doing um, tributes and presentations and celebrations and stuff like that because I know this has, this was some type of, something going on with uh, Mary, Mary McLeod Bethune. I'm sorry, I don't want to mess up the name there. Something, but it's just kind of like, I feel like a show like that. Do that at home. You know what I mean? Like, this is a Florida classic, and it's kind of like, you know, the audience really wasn't responding to it the way that I, I... Oh, man. Oh, man. Here's how the team and I have decided to update the field show scores moving forward. There will be 10 categories, all worth five points each. The highest you can get is 50. The categories are drill music, which is basically the music that the band played during the drill. Feature music, which is the music that is played during a feature. The feature could be a dance feature, it could be a ballad, or it could be a percussion feature. That's all in that same category. Uniforms. How did the entire band look from head to toe? Uniforms. Drill and design. What kind of show was it? Was it neat? Did it look good? Was it fun? Did we have some good pictures? Were they identifiable? Drill difficulty. If the band comes on the field and just stands in a box, this would be a low score. What did the show consist of? How difficult was the step two drill? Were there animations? Were there pictures? Stuff like that. Anything but just the box. Marching technique. How did the band look when they moved? How was the knee lift? The horn swing? Snap and drive. Drum majors. How did they look? Flags and auxiliary. If there are no flags and auxiliary, the drum major will also score in this as well. Auxiliary also includes props. Dancers. This category is for the dance team, but if a band does not have a dance team, the flag auxiliary unit will also get a score in this section. And finally, dancer team. Was the dancer team good? Was it hype? Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun? Was the energy high? And the rating system is as follows. 41 to 50 is superior. 31 to 40 is excellent. 21 to 30 is good. 11 to 20 is fair. 1 to 10 is poor. And zero is absolute trash. And the program is a danger to society and needs to be shut down. Immediately. Okay, for drill music, it's a four. Nothing sounded really bad. It was good, but I thought like it was where was the power where, where is the cookman sound the cookman power and i know the wind was blowing and all the type of stuff like that but even through that a trained ear can hear that kind of stuff and it seemed like i know cookman has not had a real competitive schedule this year to come to bands so maybe they're i don't know it was like where was the sound where is the sound for feature music it's a four saying the same thing that i just said about the other music like where is the the oomph the the cookman the this like where was it were you guys tired are you guys in trouble somebody please explain something because y'all's national battle of band show is much better than this when it came to just excitement and everything so uniform is a five drill and design is a three i mean you guys made a block where you ran onto the field and started the show in the middle of the field like i don't was things cut with this band in trouble i don't understand because it feels like this was a show you remember back in the day when the band gets mad he just starts cutting things did that happen because my goodness you guys didn't even march on the field you went you made bcu and just stood there it didn't even float left right up down nothing just y'all literally stopped marching then came back to block band and went to stage Florida Classic. For drill difficulty, it's a two. You didn't do anything. You didn't do nothing. At all. To me, it was just like, what? what is this? It's like that, that. Very, very basic. Very basic. So, very disappointing. I was so excited. But it's a two for drill difficulty. I'm not coming for you guys. I love Bethune Cookman a lot, but this was the most boring show I think I've ever seen from Cookman. Marching technique, it's a five. You all look good, but you barely marched. Drum majors, it's a four. Again, there it was missing some kind of oomph, and right there at the beginning, you guys go back and watch. Go watch the video. It's little things that are a little bit off. When I say just a little off, it wasn't perfect. Like I'm used to seeing Cookman's drum majors. Like the whole band was off. Something was going on. And I'm saying all this stuff not to come at Cookman at all, because I love Cookman just like how you all think I hate Jackson. I don't. They're one of my favorite bands. And that's why I'm so critical because I care so much but what was going on this looked and sounded like y'all's first show ever you know like what is happening anyway moving on for flag auxiliary it's a four dancers it's a three it was just Meh. nothing really was that good uh everything was very simple uh but the formations from up here looked like okay it's interesting because i'm still trying to figure out why did cookman have such a low energy a low uh difficulty it's like the show was just y'all are in trouble go out there and do this and that's it and dance routines are three i think i heard some songs there it's a little like okay you know there's a lot of new songs that i, I felt that this is the florida classic like i thought it was gonna be you know the florida classic because now i'm feeling like Fam about to stomp on y'all bad. Because if fam gives me just a little bit of excitement, it's going to wear y'all out. So for dance routine, it's a three. This brings total score to 37 out of 50, and that's an excellent rating. And I'm used to seeing superior shows from Cookman all the time. So this is very interesting and, and unusual for the lack of excitement from from the band everything. And then, then they ran off the field. It was like, 
you didn't really have an entrance people had to come on the field and mark off where you're supposed to go and i personally hate that it feels like elementary and beginning level like i don't like when point people have to go mark off something the whole band runs out in their spots like no march to your spots march to your spots then at the end made a nice uh, picture there of of um the person you guys made there and then you just ran off the field it's so i don't know it's just so not collegiate to me that's just how i feel so all of you guys still need to go stretch here's a book that can help you how to do that is this you Uh, Does this hurt? Uh, oh! Ah! My leg! Ah! Does that hurt? My foot! Ah! My arm! Ah! Have you ever come off the field and felt like this? My neck! My wrist! My finger! Ah! My foot! My shoulder! My neck! Ah. Well, guess what? This book can fix all of those problems. How to Stretch for HBCU Marching Bands with step-by-step -step instructions on how to stretch for and after practice with pictures to show you exactly what you need to do. The benefits of stretching for marching band are increased flexibility, improved mobility, and most importantly, it'll help improve your marching technique. How to Stretch for HBCU Marching Bands, available on Apple Books and Google Play Books. Link in description below. You wanna spin that piccolo? You need to stretch. You wanna be able to lift that clarinet up when you're playing? Stretch. Saxophones, I know you yucking and jiving. Stretch. Trumpets. You wanna scream? You wanna play louder? Stretching helps breathing. Opens up all of this. It'll help stop you from hanging over. French horns, marching hard, need to stretch. Trombones, guess what? You need to stretch. Baritone, you wanna hold up that instrument? You need to stretch and open up your breathing so you can do more of the <laughs> sousaphones. You definitely need to stretch because you got that big old thing on you after practice, after the game, all this is hurting. All of it. So you need to stretch. Percussion, snare drum, tenor drum, bass drum, cymbals, and quints. You need to stretch. Drum majors, that back bend? You know you gotta be out in the field dancing and throwing the mace around and jumping and flipping. You need to stretch. How to Stretch for HBCU Marching Bands, available on Apple Books and Google Play Books. Link in description below. Buy it now so that you can be a better band member, which will make your band better. All right, so that was Cookman. Up next is the 100 from FAMU. Please give me something more exciting than that. It's the Florida Classic. Let's go. But also one of the most exciting marching bands in the world. The incomparable, magnificent, fabulous, fantastic, University now do you see the difference when the band has an interest on how it feels and how the crowd responds? This is what I'm talking about. Don't just roam the field, let's have an entrance. The wind is present. First. Ooh, look at this formation right here. They're about to crank on somebody. The sound. Oh. I hear you, bass drums. I hear you. Off the wall, Michael Catcher. I see it, I get it, I get it. Nice job, nice job. Clean up the, exe clean up the execution a little bit more and that'll be perfect. That looked real good though, I get it, that was nice. 
Great sound. Great sound, fam. You're great sound. Nice, balanced, and powerful. Nice. I was trying to do the, the snake and the tongue coming out. Great job, fam. It was good. Real good. I like that. Much more entertaining than just a box in three letters. The consistency of 75 years, 1946 to 2021. The drum majors, piccolos, clarinets, saxophones, trumpets, French horns, trombones, accordions, tubers, percussions, and the flag chord. The hundred. Since you were one. So we'll get people to the rise for the highest of seven hills. Now, from the ten of legendary family arranger and professor Lindsay Sargent. I can do this. In the hands of our director of bands, Dr. Shelby Chipman. In honor of the 75th anniversary of the Marching 100, we're going to take you back to the year of 1978. Two words, Lenny Williams. Cause I love you. You know the words. That wind. Even with the wind, the way FAMU is playing has more conviction and more emotion than Cookman's Ballad. I appreciate that. And the crowd is in it as well. I see you back there, Flags. I see you. Drum majors looking very military as usual. The number one band for 2021. And when it comes to a sound, the difference is clear. Especially in this case, the difference is very clear. Great job, hundreds. Great sound, great sound. X for a reason. 
the wild side. It's time to show the form a real dance routine. That sound. Someone tell me down. Someone tell me down in the comments below. Is this a new song? I think it's a new song. It's not familiar to me, but I like it. You know. So that right there was the Marching 100 performing their halftime show at the Florida Classic. And I am going to just flat out say that was a much more exciting show, especially for the occasion. The occasion is the Florida Classic. So the crowd was responding more to them. I think the show was a lot more exciting. I already said that. Let's get to these scores. For Drill Music, it's a five. Everything sounded great. I heard the articulation, the dynamics, and that nice diamond formation beginning had a nice powerful sound even with this recording uh from showtime web with the wind you can still hear things clearly so great job fam good sound for feature music it's a four the feature music was the ballad and i'm only saying a four because there were some parts where it didn't sound as big and i know it had a lot to do with the, the wind blowing i knew the song what they were playing and i was just like oh okay so it was good but not wow. Uniforms is a five. Everything looked good. Drum majors, flag, band, everyone looked great. For drill and design, it's a four. It was almost a five, but we all saw that line on that diamond when it was rotating. It was almost like tighten that up that, that there was one line that was not as straight. And for a second, I didn't understand the illusion until I saw the other one. So it was great. But that one line that wasn't as straight as the other ones is the only reason drill design is a four. Because as you can see, coming up next is drill difficulty, and that was a five. All the stuff you guys did, you made several pictures. Way more than just staying in a block. Like Cookman did, my goodness. 
that was so boring. But we're not talking about them right now. It's talking about FAMU. They made Diamond that rotated. They did the animation on that. They did the animation on the snake. And then at the very end, they put a cannon on the field. And let's not forget the 75, the nice big bubble letter, bubble letter 75 they put on there for the 75th anniversary of the March 100. Congratulations on all that type of stuff. And great job. Marching technique, it's a five. Everyone looked good. They hit the spots when they're supposed to. And I didn't see one messing up. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Drum majors, it's a five. That military style that FAMU has, good style to stay nice and neat. They weren't doing too much. So therefore, they look great with what they were doing. So fantastic. For flags, auxiliary, and I guess this is also props, it is a four. I'm only saying a four because nothing looks like a super wow. You know what I mean? Like, wow, look at the flags, or wow, look at the props. Everything was good, so it's a four. And there are no dancers in FAMU's band, so the flags of auxiliary also score in this section, and that's also a four. For dancer team, it's a five. It's a five because the energy from the band and the audience, the audience was, was into what the band was doing. And of course, the animation with the cannon at the end. I don't know where Cookman's band went. They went inside a tunnel. I think they have to go inside the tunnel to get up into the stands or something like that. It may not be a direct access from the field up in there, but I think the cannon was aimed at the, you know, where Cookman plays or whatever. So that was fun. Great job. This brings a total score to 46 out of 50. And that is a superior show. Great job, March 100 from FAMU. What are your thoughts about the Florida Classic Halftime Show? Were you at all disappointed with Cookman's show or FAMU show? Do you agree with the scores I gave? Or do you not? Let me know. Comment down below. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to make a request, consider becoming a producer. You can do that by clicking the join button located right next to the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos just like this, there are hundreds on this page and be sure to subscribe to the channel for new content.